Welcome to the Dragon's Den. We have a succession of entrepreneurs keen to do business with our five multi-millionaire investors. There's just one challenge. They have to convince the dragons their ideas will make money. Only the best will succeed. The rest will walk away empty-handed. Will our first entrepreneurs convince them to invest? Good morning, dragons. Especially you, Duncan. Sorry, Mr. Funz. My name is Anita Your Money, and this is Mr. John Funz, and we are here to present to you a new way to watch television. Thank you, Anita. Dragons, are you bored of having adverts between all your favourite TV shows? Do you wish that not very good presenters and terrible executives could earn a crazy high wage? Yes? Well, we are here to present to you today a new way to fund a media empire comprising of multiple TV stations, local radio stations all around the country and an online streaming service all funded by the British people. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us and we welcome any questions you might have. Has dad of two, Tuka Suleiman, seen something to whet his appetite? Phil, I like it. Thank you, Tuka, but my name is Anita. Please don't feel me. What do you think's going to happen in the future? What's, your, what's the next point? Well, we want to continue putting the prices up and up and up, and we're going to enforce it more strongly going forward because there are some people out there that are not scared enough and they don't think they need to pay us, but we're going to show them. Do you see any changes in the legislation that's going to stop you from simply being able to take decisions on your consumer's behalf? No, we feel this method of funding will be around for a very long time. The government will continue to protect us. Who is your biggest customer? Hello, Duncan. The British people will be our customers. All of them, from struggling families to single parents, the unemployed, even OAPs. All of them. Nice one, Anita. You're becoming a more valued employee every day. And how many people do you employ? Well, we employ around 22,000 people, but we have a lot of sub-companies and some slightly iffy contracts, so it's actually a lot more, but we don't like to talk about that. John is struggling under the scrutiny of Duncan Bannertine. I think you're wasting your money. I think you're wasting your time. I don't think this has got any future whatsoever. I wouldn't have it in my house. I'd have you in my house. I'd love to see it, but I, I, I'm just not interested. OK, thank you for your time, Duncan. Can Peter Jones find a reason to invest? It's incredibly expensive. Yes, OK, Peter, but we like to call it reassuringly expensive. OK, we could charge a little less, but then we think people wouldn't believe they're getting such good value for money. It's a brilliant scam. You're really going to struggle in this. I'm going to wish you guys the best of luck, but I'm out. OK, thank you, Peter. Or one of the two dragons that people actually want to invest in their companies, as, as we call you. Jenny Campbell built her fortune in banking. Does she see a firm financial foundation for investment? Hi, Jenny. Are you still in? Because you do have a bit of a habit on this show of never investing in nothing and always saying your catchphrase. Hey, bad gum, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Thank you for all of your time, Jenny. Actually, where are we, guys? Um, you know, I come to make business investments and listen to business opportunities. And this is not a business opportunity. And it's very poorly presented with very poor research and understanding. And this, for me, has zero credibility. So for those reasons, I can't invest, so I'm out. Thank you, James, but we didn't want you anyway, did we, Anita? No, Mr. Fun. I mean, we, we, we wanted Duncan, didn't we? Yeah. Anita! Now, you're entering into a market that is incredibly competitive, cutthroat. You now need to give me a proper reason why I would invest in you. Well, if you don't pay us, we're going to send a ton of scary letters to your house and maybe even some goons to come and knock on your door. So it's best you just pay us and not ask too many questions, eh, Theo? You haven't really got an idea of how you're going to grow the business. You've given me absolutely no basis to make an investment. 
So, sadly, Fred, I'm out. OK, cheers, Debs. See you down the pub later. For me, it's dead easy. Don't like the way you presented today. I don't like John's uh, business acumen so far. I don't like your business plan. So that's the reason why I won't be investing this time. Right. Oh, blimey. Easy there, Theo. A simple I'm out would have done the job. Well, thank you for your time, Dragons. But we have all your addresses, so you can expect some letters in the post demanding you pay us the TV licence. Thank you for taking the time to watch us, us, me, in another one of my silly sketches. And uh, it took me way too long to edit this one. I should have been doing something a lot more practical with my time. If you would like to see some other sketches of me and Mr. Fun, please check the links below where I'll put a playlist for you. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the latest from this channel. Now don't forget to leave a comment and even hit the like button. It makes me feel a lot better about all the time I spent making these videos in the hope of giving you guys out there a little bit of a laugh. Thank Thanks you for, for watching. watching.